What's up everybody, Avanyon here with week 10 of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 and we got another easy week of quests uh, you might have, you know, most of the, the quests will require you to find some kind of item or weapon but actually doing the quests shouldn't be a problem uh, next week we're coming back with the vibing quest, finally if we complete this week's quest we unlock a headpiece and an arm piece for a snap and with, if you completed every single quest so far, you should unlock the last leg piece. Now here are the things you should be on the lookout. Like I said, almost every single challenge is going to require you to find something. So be on the lookout for a crash pad, off-road tires. Though the way I do the quests, you might not need to find an off-road tire. But still, just be on the lookout just in case. A charge SMG. A DMR, a zero point fish, which you can find from coolers and ice machines, but you know, if, if you're going fishing, you're gonna need a fishing rod or a harpoon gun to make it easier. Uh, a hammer assault rifle, and lastly, a prime shotgun. So it's a lot of things we need, we need to be on the lookout, but I think none of them are that hard to find. Maybe the zero point fish could be a problem to find. Well, yeah, uh, I think it should be pretty easy. So before we start, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Avignon at the Epic Games Store and the Fortnite item shop. Let's start this and we are landing on Rave Game. Now we're going straight to a baller and we're, we're doing the quest traveling a baller while on water for 500 meters. So that's why we're getting the baller here, but we're actually going into Rave Cave. Now we're gonna loot a bit to try to find a bunch of items that we need. So here I find a prime shotgun that we're gonna need, a DMR that we're going to need, and the hammer. Now the hammer challenge is drop the hammer assault rifle. So they're just making puns now for the quests. That's all you need to do is we pick it up, we drop it, and that is the challenge. So now the reason why I went into Rave Cave was because there are some tires here. So I wasn't sure if those tires would count for one of the challenges. They don't count. Uh, I take it back. I just realized something. I thought they didn't count. The reason why... So this challenge doesn't give you a notification. It only give you the notification once you've done all three things. So I just realized that it probably did count. But because I didn't do the two other things... Oh god. So maybe it does count. God damn it. I thought you needed to have an off-road tire, and you see when I actually do the challenge, I don't actually find a tire, I just used some tires that were laying around, and I thought they were different for some reason, but yeah. So the actual challenge is bounce on a crash pad, a bouncy slurp shroom, and off-road tires in a single match. So there it only counts as one, normally when you have three requirements, they actually have three, and then as you do the challenge it's gonna progress, but this time it just has one, and so it doesn't give you the progression saying if it were if it's working or not but yes so i imagine this tire should have counted but anyway uh I, i'm gonna end up dying here anyway so it didn't matter but before right before i die i used the dmr for the dmr challenge which is damage an opponent with a dmr without aiming down sights we need to do 100 damage with the dmr from the hip fire basically i do 90 here so that's great i'm gonna have to do it again next time so second try once again we go into the same baller uh, i'm gonna loot this same way i don't go for the tire because i thought it didn't count but again you should go for the that tire here there are other other tires in rave cave but, this, but that one seems to be the closest to what we, we want to do here. so once again we're still trying to find the items we get uh charge smg which we're going to do the challenge for it later so we have a barrel here and so we're gonna get the fishing rod unfortunately we don't don't get a harpoon gun but there's already a bunch of fishing spots here i'm gonna fish until i find a zero point fish now we're gonna keep this until we find an enemy or as i'm gonna do it here a wolf now we're going back into the baller and we're going alongside the river now the progression is kind of not great I feel like it only counted when I was boosting. That's probably not true. But I, I would say just boost every time, you know. 
you're not gonna lose energy so uh, as we're going along the river we find some wolves so we get out we eat the zero point fish now I, was, I, I didn't know how to use the, the dash so the actual challenge is actually a damage opponents within 10 seconds of dashing with a zero point fish so in order to jump to dashes after you consume the fish you just double tap the jump button so x for me and you're gonna do a little dash you need to do 100 damage after dashing 10 seconds it doesn't have to be all at once but you know wolves that have 250 health i had two wolves here so i got the 100 damage pretty easily so we continue our journey with the baller in the water so for the charge smg challenge it's damage 10 different objects with one spray of the charge smg so what we're going to do is charge the smg all the way and we're going to try to find as many objects around i feel like this area not the greatest area but it worked clearly you just need to damage the items so you don't need to destroy them so just spray around as much as you can aiming at different objects as you can see here uh, i think anywhere that has tables and boxes should be easily done here so now we finish the baller challenge you can get rid of that now i go here to uh slurp shroom we bounce on that that is the second requirement i if, i think i didn't do the the tire this match right so hopefully you did the tire because now all we will need is the crash pad so here i once again find the prime shotgun that we're gonna do the challenge later and here's the crash pad now if you did the tire like i should have done the challenge should unlock here but i'll do it for myself later so i find another dmr we're gonna get those remaining 10 damage without adsing later so here's where i get the final piece of the challenge which is the tire i was looking for a tire an off-road tire and i didn't find one so i just i think i actually accidentally bounced into these tires no i didn't i went for it but yeah, it counted like i said i think any any tire should count it's just not gonna show the progression of the challenge it's kind of unfortunate so just do the tires from rave cave and then the bouncy slurp shroom and then just about finding a crash pad as regular loop so now here just to show you the off-road tires how you, how it seems they wanted you to do this just throw the tire and you can bounce on it you can see that the tires are very different from regular tires they're way bigger and look brand new so i'm pretty sure any tire should count if it doesn't then this one is how they want you to do it so here i finished the dmr challenge with against a wolf and i also tried to do the prime shotgun challenge against the wolf doesn't count so good to know just to be fair the challenge is the challenge says eliminate a player not an opponent so i think that that's how they differentiate these things if they say opponent i think it counts it counts wolves and any player and if they say player is just player but there's still a way to make it this easier and that is exactly what i'm doing this is the final challenge so the actual challenge is eliminate a player with the first shot from the prime shotgun so we're going to rocky reels and we're gonna start a duel with man cave and that is how we're going to do this challenge so first we're gonna damage him a little bit because i can't see his health i'm gonna try not to damage him too much in case i kill him so as you can see i still have, could damage him um, more i try one shot with the prime shotgun it doesn't kill him so in order to get the challenge all you need to do is shoot once if you don't eliminate the player or, or man cake you just reload and keep doing this until you eliminate them so just reloading shooting once and reloading should count and that is it everyone another pretty easy week you know next week we're coming back with the vibing quests so we're gonna it's gonna be longer but like i said last week from this is gonna be the last jesus the last week where i do commentary this is the final five weeks of this season i'm just going to do no commentary no 
No nothing. I'm just gonna do the challenge and you can figure it out. You know? And then next season, I wanna try to live stream me doing the challenges, but I'm already feeling like I might not do that. I'm not feeling the motivation to do it, so we'll see. You know, we have like five weeks until next season. I'll decide it by then. So I'll see you next week for more Fortnite. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Evanion at the App Game Store and the Fortnite item shop. See you next week. Goodbye.